What's up guys? This video, I'm going to show you how to make a target stand for under $10. I designed these target stands to be pretty inexpensive. You can make each one with just two eight foot two by fours, which is right at three and a half dollars a piece. So, you know, about seven bucks plus screws, you can have a target stand. You can set them up like this for, um, for cardboard signs. These are uh, spaced 17 inches apart. Um, that way you can fit a, a normal size Ipsic style target on there. And there's a slot in the middle right there so if you want to put the 2x4 right in the middle, you can hold a steel target. You can hang one off the top. So one target stand can do two different things. The post can easily be taken out. All you have to do is stand on it and lift it out. And then it just drops right back into place. And they hold, st they hold pretty good. You can move them from side to side. You can hang... You could probably hang two metal targets right there on the sides. You can put one in the middle. If you just hang one, you can hang a cardboard sign. Put one 2 by 4 on each side. I've also set them up with one post in the center of each like that. And then put poster board across the middle. That way you can put multiple paper targets on there if you want to. The tools you're going to need for this job are a drill, a pencil, two and a half inch wood screws, a screw in hook for the metal target, a tape measure, a speed square, and two eight foot two by fours. Feet of the target stand are 24 inches a piece. Cut one out of one board and the other out of the other board. The total measurement for the pieces of the base is eight feet. So you'd think you could just cut all the pieces out of one board. But when you take into consideration the thickness of the blade over that many cuts, you're gonna come up a little bit short and your last piece isn't gonna fit. So the way to get around that is you cut half the pieces out of one board, the other half the pieces out of the other board. That way you come up short on the upright piece because it doesn't really matter if it's exactly four feet. The two side to side pieces are 17 inches. So like we said, cut one out of one board and the other out of the other board. The four pieces in the middle are three and a half inches a piece. So two out of one board, two out of the other. Once you get everything cut out, we need to measure and mark where the two 17 inch pieces connect to the 24 inch piece. If you start at 12 and go an inch and three quarter back, you'd be at 10 and a quarter. If you go an inch and three quarter forward, it'd be 13 and three quarter. On the two new pieces, measure 10 and a quarter, then 13 and three quarter, then get your speed square and draw your two lines. I put an X on the outside of the line, that way I don't accidentally connect the piece on the wrong side. Once you get everything screwed together, you can take one of your blocks and act as the upright piece. Take another block, slide it up against it. That way you don't have to measure it. You can use the width of the block as a spacer. Once you get it all screwed together, you should just be able to tap the block out of the hole. Once you get the two outside blocks screwed in, you can put one of your uprights in the middle, put the last two blocks on either side of it, and line it up on the center mark. Once you get the base all put together, you should be able to put the two uprights in the outside most slots so you can use with cardboard targets or you can just put one in the middle to hang a steel target on. To put the hook in, you're going to need a 5 16 drill bit and a wrench to thread the screw into the board. Target stands are pretty convenient. Uh, they're pretty easy to set up and you can set them up multiple different ways. I've been using them for a few months and they've worked out great for me. Uh, whether I'm hanging you know, cardboard across one or hanging up a metal target like that. And the good thing is, if you get uh, one of these chewed up too much, well, yank it out, buy another two by four and put a new one in. The only thing I think I need to improve on right now is uh, the way I hang these metal targets right here. Um, I've just got a little hook, you know, screwed in. 
I tried, you know, it's got a, a spot for a bolt to go through, but I haven't really found a good way to bolt it up instead of just shooting the bolt through. Because I, I kind of want it to angle down that way the uh, the spall shoots down and not, you know, straight out. So, got to try to figure out how to get it at an angle. Uh, I know they make some that, that slip on the top of the 2x4 that have like a spring, a, a bolt with a spring behind it. But, um, you know, those are kind of pricey. Um, I was going to see if there's any cheaper way to do it. Um, if you guys can think of anything, just you know, leave me a comment down there and let me know what you think. If you guys like this video and you want to see more in the future, click the monster can. If you want to see some more gun videos, click right here. Thanks for watching. They've been shooting these PMAG 40s. That's how, you know, they say it in Alabama. Why do I still have these glasses on?